I tend to think that people who would buy a Saab want to be that little bit different. They don't want to go along with the flow. You see, Saabs have always been, well, slightly quirky in the way that they look. They used to be pretty ugly, to be honest, and these days even something like this 9.3 is hardly a beauty in the fashion stakes. But what you get with the Saab 9.3 is a car with fantastic build quality, superb comfort, and the ability to rack up the miles. And it has one unique feature on this car which you won't find in any other car in the executive class. And it's here, round the back. Yes, Saab 9.3s are hatchbacks. Fantastic versatility. Sure, other manufacturers in the executive sector produce, well, estates, but not everybody wants to drive an estate. But sometimes you do need the versatility of being able to put the seats down and throw big items in the back. Absolutely fantastic. And it's a huge boot as well to boot. So, what would you have to pay to get a nice 9.3? Well, this car two years ago was £19,000 new, but now just over nine grand. A bargain. Thank you very much, Ian. And uh, th this is kind of alternative, right? Saabs are a love or hate thing. Some love them, some don't. Yes. I'm I, I, formulating an opinion as we speak. Well, yes, I've, I've never dri I don't think I've ever driven a Saab. And, um, well, it's dead between the two cars that yeah. we've driven, really. Um, as you say, to, although it's a diesel, it does seem to be quite lively. And uh, it's much lighter than, obviously, the Honda is quite, feels quite heavy and powerful. And uh, maybe a bit too powerful. Um, but yes, it's, it, I think I quite like this. And I, well, one aspect of it that I really thought was very clever and very simple was the way that um, you lock the gear into reverse. So it can't be hot wired. So I might not have lost it. My, <laughs> my box all <laughs> and unfortunately. Yeah.